and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and I am One Girl Creates and uh, I'm back today with um, a Sunday sewing catch up. There hasn't been a huge amount of making of clothes going on in the last couple of weeks but that's because I have had my birthday present. So it's my birthday present this week um, but I did get it a bit early because, you know, I was like a kid in a sweet shop. As soon as the box arrived, I'm like, I want it, I want it, I want it. And my husband's like, yeah, crack on. So um, as I mentioned in, my, I think, my last video, um, I got an embroidery machine for my birthday. And um, I've been playing with that. So I have lots of different things that I've made because I've just been playing and practicing. I haven't actually made physical items yet. Oh, actually, I've made one physical item. Um, I haven't made physical items particularly yet. Um, that is going to be coming in the near future because I've got a couple of plain t-shirts for my husband and my son to make um, and put embroidery on. So yeah, um, but I thought I'd show you what I've been making. So the machine I got was the Brother M380D. It's the Disney machine. Um, Carol got the same one or maybe a different version, but she got one of them like it last year. And uh, as a Disney fan, I quite like the idea of the Disney things on there. So um I thought it was a good start machine that was the one to go for. So um, I was playing, I've been playing around with quite a lot of the patterns that come pre-programmed on the machine and um, the first thing that I did is this rainbow. So as I think you've probably heard before, in fact as you can see on my t-shirt I quite like rainbows and as soon as I saw that one I was like I love that, I want to make it. So I did. Um, because I was using denim, I didn't actually put any stabiliser on the back and actually that's worked out fine. So I now know that if I'm doing it on denim or something that heavy, I don't really need a stabiliser. Um, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But this is actually what I would like, like to have put on my pockets of my jeans. But I've now used up all the fabric, so I won't be replacing my denim pockets, my pockets on my jeans, sorry. Um, however, I may have to make some other jeans in the future and put these on there somewhere. Um, but yeah, so nice little rainbow made up of hearts and uh, yeah, I quite like that. I did go away from the colours that they originally um, suggested, but you can put in what you like. It, does, it tells you what they planned it to be and then you can put in what you like. Um, I think the next one that I made was Minnie Mouse. So... I mean, who doesn't love Minnie Mouse? She's so cute. And, um, sorry, took that bit of thread off. And yeah, I loved it. Um, and I think that actually, I mean, if you look at it, it's just so clear and so um, well made. And all you have to do is thread it. I mean, it's so plug and play, I suppose, would be the way to put it, that um, it's really easy and really fun to use. I just need to find out what I'm going to use it for. But yeah, I like Minnie. Minnie's cool. We are off to Euro Disney this summer. So I am hoping to make um, some t-shirts for us, I think, before we go with Disney characters on. Um, so the next one I made, I'm not sure I've got the rest of these in the right order, but anyway, so the next one I made, I decided to do this dragonfly. Um, I love the dragonfly itself. This definitely did need stabiliser on the back because as you can see, it's puckered a little bit around um, and I've trimmed. I don't know why it's so different, but I think it's because there's such a tight amount of stitches together. It's puckered a little bit. and um, But I still love the dragonfly. And again, that would go perfectly on the pockets of a pair of jeans or something or down in the bottom corner of a plain t-shirt or something like that or even just as like a little logo on the t-shirt it would be really nice so um yep yeah, love dragonflies love that one um then i went on to tinkerbell i mean i think that t that has got to be a t-shirt um for the next summer i think or for this summer sorry um when we go to disney you know it's tinkerbell who doesn't love Tinkerbell? Um, and again, I absolutely love that one. I think it just comes out, I don't know if you can see, but it's so clear and such a good stitch um, on it that it looks brilliant. It looks really, really good. So I think, again, that'd be really nice as a T-shirt with a little logo on it. Um, I don't necessarily need a big 
big thing on the front i'm happy to have something there um just to to make it look cool and the boys will have something different i mean there's a there's a cars there's cars on there there is my son's favorite from last time we went to disney it was buzz lightyear i mean love buzz lightyear absolutely love buzz lightyear i made that one into a patch so i've just trimmed around the edges um I don't know if it's a different way of doing it. I don't know. This one I did use stabilizer on the back, but um, I made that into sort of a sort of patch. Um, and yeah, he's cool. I think my son will definitely have something with him on for, for the, our holiday. Last time we went to Florida, it was the highlight of my holiday was um, him meeting Buzz Lightyear and he just literally held on to him and didn't let go. And the actor playing Buzz looked at me as if to say like, what am I supposed to do? And I'm like, I didn't expect this to happen, <laughs> you know? Um, and it was just, oh God, melt, heart melting moments. That is the, one of the, the biggest heart melting moments of my, I've ever had with my son. He was just so happy to meet his hero. And um, yeah, so definitely think Buzz will have to be on something when we go away on holiday. Um, then I made this hummingbird. I love this. I mean, again, that's so pretty. And I can't, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I love, I mean, I just love it. I think it's so pretty and I just wanted to make it. This is what it is. It's all been, I just wanted to make these things and see what they look like. These, again, I didn't use the colours because I haven't got all the colours embroidery thread. My mum gave me some embroidery thread and I've just been using what she gave me. I have ordered more, which will be coming today, actually. Um, but yeah, so I didn't use their colours, I used my own colours, but I really liked this, I thought it was so pretty. Um, and I don't know, I mean, I could put it on like a makeup bag or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think it's so pretty. So that's the hummingbird. And then actually, I'm going to save this one that I've got here for the last one because actually, there is something to show you. Um, then I made Snow White and um again it was just to play i just want to keep playing with these things and seeing what they look like um i've tried to stick as much to the the true colors and actually the only thing i think that isn't the true color that they wanted is the yellow on this one i think i had oh the yellow and the blue i had to use normal thread but actually i don't know if i can show you it close enough but the, the normal thread doesn't look too bad it is a good one. i have tried to use as good a sort of quality normal thread as I can but um but yeah it doesn't look too bad um and yeah so that's snow white and then what else have I made oh and this is something I'm thinking about for my cousin I believe her favorite character Disney character is Ariel we go to lots of theme parks and we're seeing her in a few weeks so I might just have to make her a little Ariel bag or something because she um will love it and um they are just as much disney fans in fact probably more more so they do all the lego and everything else and um so i probably will have to make her this just I'll, I'll check with their daughter it's the right one um but yeah so i might have to make her a bag with ariel on it and she'll love that um and then winnie the pooh man just i love it I absolutely love Winnie the Pooh. I need to work out what I've got to do to make these into patches. I'm fairly certain I can do it and that I just need to keep trimming these away until the loose threads come out. But um, yeah, it's probably I'll probably need to search for a video, which I will do at some point, but I'm not planning to use them for patches. I'm just playing anyway. So, but yeah, oh, Winnie the Pooh. Again, who doesn't love Winnie the Pooh? Um, this is possibly one of my favourite things that is on the machine this is another pre they're all pre-programmed ones so far that i've shown you um and this one is sorry i've just realized that actually which one wasn't buzz lightyear was no i think this is the only one um i think buzz lightyear is the might might not be but I'm not, i think he is anyway sorry go on a tangent um so this elephant oh god i think this is beautiful um i love all the detail the mandala um I don't know what I'm going to put this on, but this needs to go on something. I think this would look really nice on a handbag. Um, so I may well use it on that. And and in fact, even in these sort of colours, I just think it looks stunning. Uh, this is definitely probably one of my most favourite ones that I've made so far. Um, 
but I will see what I'm going to make it out of. But I think I need, oh, I still haven't made my handbag. Um, I did buy, I saw Sam from um, Solar Sparkle with Sam, her video last week, and she had her bag on the table behind her, and it was the noodle head bag. Ooh, I might have to look up and see which one it is. It's a noodle head bag, and I bought it last week, and um, I'll put it down on the thing below. And um, and I really liked it, and I thought, oh, actually, that'd be perfect. So I bought it. I just need to make it up. I need to find what fabric I want to make, um, and then I will make it up. But yeah, so I can see this going on either. The, it's got like a split down the middle, and it's got a front pocket sort of sewn in. It could go really nicely on the front of that pocket, or it could go on the patch at the side. So either way, it would look really nice. Um, but yeah, I love that elephant. Absolutely love it. Um, and the last one, so on my actual birthday, I got birthday money, obviously, and um, I downloaded a um, a set of um, designs. There's something, that, it says there's 300,000, I don't think there's quite 300,000, but there's a lot um, of designs. And on there was one of our favourites, Sam from So Let's Sparkle, Sam will love this because she is a massive Star Wars fan. And... Um, r2d2 we love all of the droids um r2d2 c3po bba all of them we love them and i can see this going on a t-shirt for my husband um for when we go away he will just love it and um yeah so made r2d2 he's quite detailed actually i mean if you look at the lines that are in there and everything else this is just one of the ones that i downloaded and i think it was some ridiculous price like 20 pounds for all these designs so i wasn't expecting them to be the best but actually you know what it is and it will work on a t-shirt um for my husband so really pleased with that one and there were designs from everything so like we like south park there's south park designs there was simpsons designs as well as more so there's not just disney and stuff there is other things as well but like ice skating so I've actually gone back to ice skating um for the first time properly in nine years I will be having my first lesson again in nine years in on sun Saturday this week coming and I'm so excited to go back to it um I've skated from the age of eight up until about 39 which is now 10 years ago um and it was always the thing with sewing really that has kept my sanity and it's the only exercise I've enjoyed doing and I really miss it and I've missed having a team. The new season starts um, today actually, the final competition of the year is today and my new team is up there competing and I will be watching it on video later on YouTube um, and um, I'm really 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 looking forward to going back I've joined in a couple of sessions that I've been to um, recently and uh, there's this just nothing like it for me anyway so I'm going back to skating so um, I will probably be making myself a t-shirt with some sort of skating thing on it um, and or a bag a new skate bag or something like that I don't know but yeah I, I'm ridiculously excited to get back on the ice it's my happy place there is nothing in the world better for me than skating backwards full pelt so um little insight into my brain but that's it so I'm, I'm looking forward to that so I found I got loads of skating things on this download um and yeah I can't I'm excited I'm very excited it's a good, good time at the moment really good time um the last couple of things I've got to show you um, I also played around with lettering, um, my initials are JS, so I did JS, um, I think it also has a Disney font on there, so I might, this also has got, I don't know if you can see actually, sorry, it's got flowers at the bottom, but I think it does have a Disney font on there, so I might have to have a look at that, because I think that's more likely to be something what I want to use, what I want to use, that I want to use, um, and it's still nice to play though isn't it it's still good to play so yeah so i played around with the lettering and then the last thing i want to show you is this one here now this is so cute um who doesn't like a bumblebee so this again is a pre-programmed one on the machine and um i've used this one twice and the next thing i'm going to show you is what i made it into so i did make one thing so i'm going to um go and get that and show you it. 
So with the bumblebee, um, I knew, I had, I had an idea in my head and I thought, okay, I know what I can make with this. So I made myself a little bag and uh, obviously I had some yellow fabric, so I made it out of yellow. I put a nice rainbow zipper. I did order some rainbow zipper the other week and it came and then I've used some really nice sort of honeycomb fabric on the inside. So sort of staying with the theme. Um, it's nicely padded and everything else. It doesn't have a use as yet. Um, I'm quite sure I'll find some use for it, but I just couldn't resist making a bag and I've used it under the, so I've got the, um, the padding for the bag and I've embroidered on the top. And I quite like the effect it gives actually to give it that little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Raised effect, I suppose. Um, but yeah. So I made this little bag, so that's cute. And that's what I used the B for. Obviously that's another different type of lettering that was on the machine. Um, and yeah, it's all good. So that is my whistle stop tour of what I've been making the last few weeks. Um, I still want to make those jeans that I was going to make, but I got distracted by pretty shiny things. And I will also be, um, I've got some birthday money to spend, so I'll also be buying some bits in the next few weeks. So there'll probably be some sort of purchases on the on the vlog next week. Um, I've definitely ordered a couple of things that are arriving today, um, including the threads. And um, yeah, it was it's an exciting time. I'm sure I'll be getting back to making something in the near future. I have got a couple of different breaks coming up. So we're off to Alton Towers at the end of this month. Um, not that I particularly need anything for that, but I do have some really nice fleecy backed um, fabric to make a jumper, which in the cold might be very helpful because August, uh, August, April can be quite cold. I've got warm towels. It just depends. You just don't know what you're going to get. One year we've had really, really cold. Next year we've had sunshine and practically shorts and t-shirt weather. Um, so I need to sort of pack for all weathers or think about packing for all weathers. So a nice sort of fleecy lined hooded top Maybe even a zipped front one would be quite good so that I can open it if it's too hot. Um, so that's possibly on the cards. And then we have got in under 90 days, because we're not on the countdown at all. Um, under 90 days, we're going on holiday to an all-inclusive to Turkey, which is the first time since 2000 and... Oh my gosh, what was it? 2019. Um, that we're going away to somewhere like that and we can't wait it's going to be a week of sitting in the sun my son playing in the pool and us just relaxing and enjoying it so we're really looking forward to that so holiday clothes may need to be made because I've definitely put on weight since I had some last year um and yeah so that's that's what the next few months might look like I think is planning ahead and think about what I need for the future so hopefully you're going to see some fabrics, you're going to see some um, new things coming in, some makes coming in the next few weeks because I am in my sewing room a lot, but I'm doing a lot of embroidery. However, the machine itself, sort of once you set it off, you don't really need to stand over it. Stay in the same room with it, yes, but you don't need to stand over it. And uh, Although I do watch it, I don't know about you, but it's really fascinating to watch these pictures developing, but you don't need to watch over it. And um I'm, I could probably sort of set it off and let it go on its own and then make something else for me. So that might be, might be the plan in the next few weeks. So yeah, so hope you like watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I have been making, although it's not been quite the same as before. And um, hopefully you'll be back to see me in another week or so. Leave a comment, let me know what you're up to. And if you've made anything out of an embroidered um, piece or if you do embroidery yourself, what you use your embroidered pieces to make. Um, or your embroidery machine to make. Um, at the moment, my brain is not quite, I'm not quite there as to what I can make out of it. I know that you can make loads. My mum used to have a machine. She's made masks. She's made key rings. Um, she made quilts that were absolutely stunning. They were, there was one that she made that was like a jigsaw one. In fact, I've got a feeling it's the one that Carol made. I might be wrong about this um someone's made it I'm sure and, and I saw it but it's just amazing um but they're not my kind of thing so I'm trying to think what to use I don't want to make lots of bags I don't have use for lots of bags I have a few shopping bags already that I've made from my silhouette machine um 
so yeah let me know what you make out of your embroidery machine if you have one what what you've seen that you think looks really nice because i'd love to know different uses for it and what i can use um them for um but anyway thanks for watching and i'll be back in next week bye